So, is diet a cause of plantar fasciitis? Well, interestingly, there is there is more and more talk within the scientific community, and more research uh, being looked into the links between diet and musculoskeletal pain. So, musculoskeletal pain means pain to do with um, soft tissue or joint related pain. So this can be pain or in the ligaments, tendons, um, muscles or joints. And that's that's what musculoskeletal refers to. And there is some evidence which does suggest some possible link between certain diets and certain uh, food consumption and increased risk factors for developing various musculoskeletal pains. However, the research at the moment is, is in its infancy and very much inconclusive. Um, so there isn't a particular diet that we are aware of, which is uh, heavily associated with plantar fasciitis. However, if you do choose to change your diet, and this could involve um, you know, cutting gluten out of your diet or um, cutting out meat and dairy, you might find that this could help plantar fasciitis. However, there's no evidence to prove that this, this is effective or would consistently give good results. Um, so at this moment in time, I wouldn't actively advocate changing diet as being a go-to treatment option for plantar fasciitis. Instead, it's more likely that there are other issues at bay which have led to you getting plantar fasciitis, such as mechanical factors. So we... Um, need to bear in mind that the plantar fascia is, is a tissue which has a mechanical job role for the body, which is supporting the arch of the foot. And in most cases, there, there are a series of underlying mechanical risk factors which has led to the person developing plantar fasciitis in the first place. Um, so I would encourage people to focus on these um, sort of um, treatment options first before considering changing diet. However, that doesn't mean that changing diet may not prove beneficial for you. So at this moment in time, the I suppose the short answer is we don't know how um, how important diet is in the development or treatment of plantar fasciitis. As more and more research is published, um, hopefully in future we'll know more about this, and if appropriate, perhaps I'll be able to give a different advice. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, please feel free to share, and if you are interested in other free educational resources, check out the website www.thehillpainexpert.com. Thanks for watching.